Hello, my name is David Vai. I am a Senior Product Marketing Manager with Cadence. And in this video, I will present the new integrated transmission line calculator introduced with the version 15 release of the Cadence AWR design environment. With this release, designers can calculate the electrical properties or synthesize the parameters for a physical transmission line directly from any individual transmission line component within any schematic. So rather than using the TX line utility from the main pull-down tools menu, the designer can operate this feature without having to manually transfer the synthesized line dimensions into the component property dialog. Designers can operate this feature from the transmission line of interest, and the transmission line will automatically assume the new synthesized physical properties. To demonstrate the convenience of this new capability, we have a branch line hybrid coupler composed of four microstrip lines on an aluminum substrate modeled with the standard MLIN components. The branch line coupler consists of four transmission lines. Each is a quarter wavelength long at the target center frequency. Two lines have the same characteristic impedance of the terminations port P1 and P4, and two have an impedance that is reduced by one over the square root of two times this characteristic impedance, or 35.35 ohms. Therefore, the coupler performance is tied to both the electrical length and the characteristic impedance of the individual branch lines, making it a very good example for demonstrating the practicality of this new feature. Our original coupler was designed for 4.8 gigahertz, as we can see from the response plot of the isolation and coupling versus frequency. With synthesis, I am able to determine by the appropriate widths and lengths needed to shift the performance to a different design frequency by changing the line widths and lengths to provide the correct characteristic impedance and electrical length at the new frequency. Note that the transmission line itself is associated with a substrate definition that provides the substrate and material characteristics including the thicknesses, surface roughness, materials, and dielectric constant. By changing the electrical length and preserving the appropriate characteristic impedances, we are able to shift the performance to the new frequency, which in our example will be 3 GHz. So we are not only synthesizing transmission lines on the fly, we are able to actually accelerate the entire redesign effort. So now let's take a closer look. Uh, from the branch line coupler schematic, select the MLIN TL1, right mouse click, and choose Synthesize to open the TRL calculator. This is the small 50 ohm feed line, so I will change the frequency to 3 gigahertz, select the W and L property boxes, and the Z0 real box to the right to synthesize the proper dimensions for the new frequency. Click the left pointing arrow between the two panes to synthesize the selected dimensions on the left from the properties defined on the right. Selecting OK will update the transmission line to the new dimensions. Next, I select the Emlyn with the TL3 designation, which is the top 35 ohm line, and launch the synthesis tool once again, changing the frequency to 3 GHz, selecting the W and L parameter on the left, and the Z0 reel on the right, and I update the target electrical length to 90 degrees, and check the EL box, and push the synthesis button, thereby updating the W and L parameters. Selecting OK updates the transmission line parameters, and we can see from the layout view that the line length changes to provide the 90 degree electrical length at the new frequency. I've also linked the W and L parameters of the lower 35 ohm line to those of the upper 35 line, um, so that the occur changes simultaneously to both branch lines. Using the Control A key, I can select all the components in the layout view and snap them to align all the components together with the longer 35 ohm lines. So the last modification we need to make is to reset the width and the length of the two 50 ohm branches of the coupler. So select the TL to invoke the synthesis utility. We set the frequency, select the WNL parameters once again, and this time we select the Z0 real parameter and set it to 50 ohms and set the electrical length once again to 90 degrees. Now the two 50 ohm branch lines have been modified and again I select all with the control A keys and resnap to update the entire layout to the new 3 gigahertz design. At this point I can re-simulate the design and see that we have shifted its performance to be centered around 3 gigahertz with a slight offset due to the impact of the discontinuities that were modeled uh, with the T sections connecting the branch lines so that concludes this video demo of the latest enhancements to the transmission line synthesis in version 15. For more information, visit the AWR microsite 
at awr.com or contact your Cadence sales representative.